Evolution. The theory of evolution states that living things have adapted and changed over time. All living organisms have changed from as they were millions of years ago. This is due to changes and adaptations. Organisms adapt to changing environments. So how does evolution happen? Living things with useful adaptations survive and reproduce. The offspring inherit these adaptations and develop their own adaptations through mutations. This process then continues over time and the adaptations become focused to the needs of the environment. Natural selection is known as survival of the fittest. This plays an important role in evolution. It's essentially the process in which the best adapted organisms are able to survive and to reproduce. Desirable characteristics are passed down from the parent to the offspring. So, advantageous alleles are passed on to the offspring. Species that are not adapted will be at risk of becoming extinct. This can occur due to new predators, disease, destruction of habitats, change in the environment or increased competition for resources. An example of this is a peppered moth. At first, peppered moths varied in colour. Some were light and some were dark. Light moths were at an advantage because this allowed them to camouflage against the pale trees. This allowed them to survive and to reproduce. However, moths with a mutant black colouring were easily spotted and eaten by birds. During the Industrial Revolution, many factories were built and the burning of coal for fuel resulted in dark smoke covering the environment. This resulted in the darkening of trees. This meant that the light-coloured moths were easily spotted on the darker trees as they could no longer camouflage. So, the darker-coloured moths were able to camouflage which resulted in them living longer and passing on the gene to their offsprings. Fossils are remains of plants and animals that are imprinted in rocks. Scientists are able to identify changes that have occurred to plants and animals over time.